face facts, I face joints, I'm hurt. She said, hurt people, hurt people, yeah. She said, hurt people, hurt people, yeah. Hello, everybody, back again. I'm going to show you how to make a spigot server. So, first thing. Blah, 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 blah. The first thing you want to do is go to spigotmc.org and then, you know, that. I just put it in the description and click on it. Then, um, you go here and then you click download. You can just download it. You can see download the jar. That'll also be in the description. Yeah, you only need one. But, um, scroll down. You got that. So keep in mind, you need to copy this. Okay, now you're going to go to your desktop. Make a new folder. Make it call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it that. Alright. Now you're gonna drag it over here into your build tools folder. Now you can I'm not sure but I'm just gonna rename it. Just in case. Okay, now that it's in here, you need to go to this link here, it'll be in the description also. And you need to download Git and install it. It's pretty easy to install, so do that. Now go back to your folder that you made with the jar that's inside of it and click git bash here, which will open up a console. Then you're gonna paste that command from earlier and then click enter. I mean press enter. Now it's gonna start downloading something and you're gonna have to get it a couple of years to download, and then I'll be back. So see you in a couple of years. Two thousand years later. So now that you've took like 20 years to install this, you can close it and then you can go to Spigot, this little link, or I'm just going to put this in, in the description. So just copy that. Um, okay, go to your desktop. And now you're going to make a new file. This is going to be your server, so you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it Minecraft server. Open it and then you got to put your Spigot, you got to copy it. Copy, paste. What the hell? There we go. So now you can name it speak. Now you can go. You're gonna have to make a new uh, make a new file, text document. Uh, doesn't matter what you name that. So now you're gonna paste this code in. Oh wait, I actually got rid of it. So go back now, paste it in. Then, um, so this right here, that's the um, file name. That's why I renamed it. So now that's that. And this is your RAM for your server. Your RAM is how much memory and stuff. You can Google what RAM means later. But the more RAM, the better server performance you'll have. But don't set it to like 500 million or something like that because your computer will die. Like it will actually die probably. And um, so my computer has 8 gigabytes of RAM so I'm just going to keep it at maybe 2. But if I'm running uh, another game with this, maybe like if I'm not running another game with this server, I can maybe raise it to 6. But it's going to slow your computer down. Uh, okay. Depending on what you're doing. So now, and then I don't know what this is. Just look that up later maybe. <laughs> I'm too lazy. So now you can, I'm going to make it one right now, or two. So now you're going to control save, I mean control S, never mind, just do save as. And you can name it whatever you want, you can name it poop dot, yeah, you have to have the ex this extension though, dot bat. There you go. And now you got your bat file, now you can remove the old file. And now you're going to run it. And there you go. There is your Minecraft server. You need to agree to the U YOLO to an okay, so that's easy. Here that. Now you have your server properties. You can uh, open it with. I like to use Notepad++, but I don't have it on this computer, so you can just use a regular Notepad for now. Oh wait, what? I don't know what I'm doing.
Oh, you go into here, I think. Yeah, you go in here, sorry. Then you can change this to true. And then control S to save it. And then close it. Now you can open up your server again by running that file. And now your server's starting. Generating all the bull crap. Okay, that's cool. Now you're gonna leave it open to keep your server running. If you close it, your server stops, okay? Or you can do slash, I mean, just you can type stop, and then you do that. But if, you can also restart it now. Spigot, you can do this uh, with bucket, you cannot do this. But I'll let it load, I'll show you. So you can do this with spigot, you can do just restart, which is way easier. Oh, maybe it doesn't work when you're not using like a, a host. Uh, you can especially you can do it in game. It might be just an in game command, but it, it's useful. So you can restart the server and it'll come back automatically without hey without you having to run the file again. So now it generate all these cool little files. You can change all these settings and stuff. So, um, so you can do this is the server properties file. You can open this. You can change all some set server settings. So um, this is the name of the world. That's the Nether. You can ch change if you want the Nether to be here. Um, your MLTD. I'll, I'll change that. This is the MLTD message of the day. Um, max players game mode. I'll set the game mode to one, which is creative. I'll say no PVP. And, um, yeah, that's about that. You can just change whatever you want. Um, yeah, this is the ops. We can put all the people that you want to ops, like, I believe it works like this. If that was my name, but here's another person, you can do that, and another person. I believe that's how it works. But I haven't played in a while, so I have no idea. Okay. And these are your world files. Don't really touch these. Now, I'm going to show you how to add a plugin real quick. So you can go back to Spigot the website. Okay, now. Let's try this plugin. Doesn't matter what plugin, this is how you do it. So, to download the plugin. Yeah, keep it. Okay, now you're going to go back to your folder and put it in the plugins file. Drop it. You don't have to worry about that. I don't even know what that means. So now that you have your plugin, you can start your Minecraft server back up. Okay, so the plugin isn't compatible with this version, but that's how you add a plugin anyway. So if you want to see what plugins you have, you can do PL or plugins, and there you go. So now I'm going to show you how to get into the server. Keep in mind, we didn't set up the server, so it's multiplayer. So I'll do that in another video probably. Okay, so we're going to play it. My server. Then you type in the address. The address will be localhost, or you can put your IP address. But don't worry about that right now. If it's only you connecting, just put localhost. Or if you and someone else in your house is on the same Wi-Fi network, you can they, they can also do localhost, and it will work. Y'all can be on the same server. Uh, wrong version, but that's how you get it. So yeah, so here we go. We can see our MOTD now that we made. Twenty players. Let's join. It's a really fast login because it's on your own network. So yeah, here's your little server. You can get whatever plugins you want. You can play with your homies at your house or whatever. But like that's why I said only your house because um, it's not multiplayer yet. Like people from the other side of the world cannot play because you didn't do it like the other stuff. But I'll do that in another video. 
So, um, I hope you like the tutorial. If you have any questions, or you want me to do another tutorial for Minecraft, just let me know. Um, yeah. So, peace. Kissing strangers. <gasps> na, 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 na.